today we're going to talk about testing ketones. Testing your ketones. Controversial topic. It is. Everyone always loves to talk about it. <laughs> I think the first thing we need to mention is that it's not necessary as part of Completely your ketogenic not necessary. diet to be testing your ketones. So if you don't have a specific medical condition, if you're just doing a keto diet for weight loss and for you know general health improvements, why would you want to test your ketones? I would say it's because you don't really know you're in ketosis unless you can see that you're in like if you're yeah. measuring if you're yeah. not measuring you're kind of guessing that you're in ketosis yeah i mean sometimes you can tell by how say, you feel i was like, just about to say there's yeah. probably ways of just the feel you feel that you're in ketosis mm. but but it's not always that obvious yes yeah. so some people might not even notice i don't yeah. notice as well as erica does yeah like i do notice i have more energy and i'm kind of more alert and awake like when i'm in like a deeper ketosis and you're less so, hungry you say too. yes yeah definitely so but it's not it's not always obvious either like sometimes i test my ketones and i'm like oh like i'm I'm in ketosis quite yeah. deeply. I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, ah, I'm not in ketosis and I feel fine and I've been yeah. eating, you know, my regular foods. So. And Erica normally tells me I'm in ketosis because my breath's shocking. <laughs> she normally says, go and test your ketones because your <laughs> breath is gone. Crazy. <laughs> um, but the reason you might want to test it is because some people's carb tolerance is different. Like everybody's yeah. a unique snowflake, aren't they? And I know for me, I can't tolerate as much as many carbs as Dan does. And we also know we could eat exactly the same food, yeah. test our ketones, and I not always actually, but mm. often I will be measuring higher ketones than Erica. So yes. it's a very individual thing. Yes, and it really helps you dial in, I guess, what foods work for you as far as keeping you in ketosis, if that's your goal and what foods perhaps don't as far as sweeteners where things can be really individual as well yeah especially sweeteners yes so how do you measure your ketones there's really three ways to do it yeah that we're aware of mm -hmm. pea strips <laughs> measuring <laughs> it in your urine <laughs> your breath and, and your blood. blood so the first one what are the benefits of the urine strip measuring your um, um, urine? The benefit of the urine strips is they're cheap, they're easily accessible, I think you can get them at the chemist. Um, and at the start, when you first are very, like when you're very first starting a ketogenic diet, it can tell you straight away if you've got ketones in your urine or not, and it can be a bit of motivation, I guess. And it's less invasive because yes. you're just peeing a yeah, stick, you're not um, to blood. pricking blood. Yeah. Yeah. The disadvantages, it's not super accurate. Um, it's pretty much just showing ketones that your body's not using and you're just peeing out, like you, it's just waste. So, so at the start... At the start you have a lot of those because your body starts produ producing ketones but they're like, oh, we don't know what to do with these things yet, so we just get rid of them. Um, but then once your body gets adapted to using them, yeah, they don't show in the strips anymore. Yes. And I have seen quite often in um, forums and groups yes. and stuff, people freak out. Yes. So they're measuring their ketones high or so in. and they've been really strict <laughs> and they say, what's going on? I've been so strict and now I'm not measuring ketones. All that's really happened is that your body is now yes, using it's a good properly. thing. It's a good yeah. thing. But yeah, it can be demotivating and confusing for people as well. Yeah, so um, don't freak out if you're using the urine strips. We've never used them, no, and we, we don't. Never. We never recommend for people to use them. But yeah, if you're starting out and you have access to them, you can give them a go. Just don't Just freak be out. Be aware. Yeah. yeah. The second one is the breath ketones. So yeah. how how that uses acetone, right? Yeah, the acetone is one of the because there's three different. Is there three different keto molecules? I think, anyway. We won't um, go into no, that. We're not into the science, but yeah, you can test on your breath and it can give you um, like an accurate picture of if you're in ketosis or not. Um, so the, the, I know of two different types of meters. There's probably lots of different ones out there, but one that we have tried is this House of Keto um, breath analyzer, which is basically just a alcohol breath analyzer yeah. like you would have to see if you can drive home from the pub 
but they've kind of branded it as a ketone thing. It was $30 and we were like, oh, this would be awesome if we can just flow into this thing and see if we're in ketosis. Yeah, it's not super accurate. We've done testing against our the blood blast and this, yeah. and sometimes it says, no, we're not in ketosis when we are, and then sometimes it was saying we were. <laughs> so don't waste your money on this one. Yeah, don't go for the alcohol breath ones. They're extremely yeah. inaccurate. But yes. the other ones, is it called ketonic? Ketonic. Yeah. yeah. So that is um, a really accurate one. The only, like, the biggest drawback with it is that it's expensive initially. So to buy the ketonics, um, it's like a sort of like a pen almost, isn't it? That you blow into. And you hook it up to um, your computer by USB and it can track all your readings and it just says yes or no on like a scale if you're in ketosis. And it doesn't correlate with the blood. So it gives you a reading, yeah, so but it's, it's a not different the same measurement. measurement. Yeah, so another thing if you're doing comparisons, they're, yes. they're not um, exactly the same. Like you won't measure 0.5 on the breath and 0.5 yeah, on the breath. Yeah, blood. so it's a, different, it's a different measurement, measurement amount. Um, and so yeah, it is a big outlay, but then there's no ongoing exp expense. Once you've got it, you've got it. You can yeah. blow into it as many times as you like. So there's no strips or anything. Yeah, it. it's yeah. Just blow so into it. it is the expensive initial outlay, but if you're planning on you know testing a lot for a really long time, then you know that could be good. And it is an accurate option. It's just the the readings don't um, correlate correlate with the blood yeah. because it's a different scale of measurement. So let's just demonstrate this old bad boy. <laughs> so it warms up, counts down for, for 10 seconds. You probably can't see that. And then I've got to blow into it for 10 seconds. So I'll do that once it's warmed up. It's a long 10 seconds. <laughs> so it measured 0 0.02 with a Y, which is saying that I'm in yes. ketosis. Also, um, it kind of doesn't give you much. It's either kind of yes, yes or, or no. no it's and a really high number doesn't correlate with no. anything in terms of the blood. So, but but that's how it works. you're in ketosis. So let's see what this. So the third way of testing most accurate. And our preferred way our of preferred doing way. it is the blood. Well, not preferred because you have to. Eric is not preferred, <laughs> but definitely the most accurate. And if people yes. asked us, that's what we would recommend. Correct. Is using the blood. Yeah. So what's involved with doing this? We use a ketone monitor. Um, this one we bought um, from the US. It's Keto Mojo. We really do like it. Um, but there is also an exactly the same one available yeah. in Australia and I'll pop the links below for the Australian one and also for the US for um, any US followers as well. Um, but the thing we like about it, it measures ketones and blood um, glucose. So if you were um, diabetic or you were kind of wanting to measure both, well, it's good to it's test good your to blood know glucose in the yeah. morning as well to see where you are. Um, and the other um, one that is good is the what is it Freestyle Optimum Neo. Yes, so yeah. that's available in Australia. Um, I think you can get it online. I don't know that you can buy it in the chemist anymore. It's a bit complicated with because the diabetics. Yeah. I think you've got to have a, a diabetic, diabetic card to get access yes, to things at the chemist. but you can certainly get it online. But you can definitely buy them online. Yeah. So, how do we test the ketones? So, first of all, we get the monitor out and a strip. <laughs> so we've got... These ones are blood glucose strips and these ones are ketone strips, so you can test both from the same like prick of your finger if you true? wanted to know both. So first of all, you've got to use something to prick your finger. This is called, I think it's called a lancet. There's an old one in there. So these only use once, okay? So pop it in the gun. Now, you want to pop the strip in with the strip, there's like a little gold kind of plate there. You just pop that in and that will start the ketone monitor. And then it kind of... It takes a second or two on. to turn on and warm up and when you get that last beep it's ready to go. So, I will quickly... Sometimes Erica needs to warm her finger yeah, up. Yeah, it does. She has a lot of trouble yeah, getting blood Especially in winter, if you're cold. Um, I like to like rub my finger to warm it up or just run my hands under some warm water for a little while and that really helps with the blood flow. So I've got a good um, 
pull of blood there. So then you want to try and not touch your skin. Try and just get the blood and it'll run up there and beep when it's ready. And then it counts down to um, your ketosis. Hope I'm in ketosis. Breath meter said I was. 1.2. 1. 1. 2. 2. So I'm happy with that. That's usually a pretty standard reading for me. Yeah. So you want to be between 0.5 and around 3 is like a ideal. Okay, so we've got the blood glucose is much quicker than the ketones for some reason. Five. five. Okay, so you want it to be under 5.5, I think, when you're fasted. So we haven't had breakfast no. yet this morning. So that's right. Very so good. Ketones 1.2, blood glucose 5. You happy with that? Yep. So when is a good time to test? Because that's another question that gets yes. put out there a lot. And there's not. Um, well, when we're at low carb down under on the Gold Coast last year, people asked this of Dr. Steve Finney. Um, there is still a lot of research that needs to be done about ketones. So a lot of it is kind of what they think or yeah, from yeah. anecdotal, um, you know, their experience. But pretty much when you're fasted is a good time. Um, not necessarily first thing in the morning. Some people find that their ketone readings are lower first thing in the morning we um find probably we get the best readings if we've fasted kind of up Between until lunch and dinner yeah so you have your lunch and then don't eat you know for four or five hours and then test right before your dinner is that what you yeah that's what do? i find is the best um when you get the highest but the other thing i wanted to mention was highest or higher is not no, necessarily better. It doesn't mean you're in a deeper ketosis. Like, it doesn't mean you're burning more fat or anything. It doesn't mean you're in deeper ketosis, but it doesn't mean that you're burning more fat. So and don't, if you're at 0. 0.5 versus, you know, 3, it's not necessarily the higher it is, the better it is, right? That's right. Well, that's our understanding yes. of it anyway. And Dr. Finney says the same thing. Um, just as long as you're between 0. 0.5 to 3, you will be in. Yeah. nutritional and ketosis certainly as long as you're not type 1 diabetic it's I, I don't think it's concerning to be higher than that um like higher than three yeah right? we've had ours go up to around four or whatever if it's continually getting higher and higher then you may not be eating enough food so you do need to um you know just keep an eye on it if it's if it is high yeah um, yeah, but I think, I think that's, that's, yeah, so that's how we test our ketones. Um, definitely we think the blood is the best option as far as, um, you know, being, I mean, the strips do, they are, they're a bit more expensive. That's the downfall yeah, of it. So, yeah. um, accuracy or awesome. the positive. Yeah. <laughs> and the downfall is the cost is yeah. a little bit more expensive per strip. So you're not going to really want to be testing your ketones multiple, multiple times. times a day. Yeah. Um, and, and you don't need to be. It's a bit more invasive because you've got to prick your finger and you get blood <laughs> and bleed. Finger. Yeah. So, but you kind of get used to yeah, that, I think. It's, it's um, not as bad as it all seems. Erica it's Matthews the idea of it. It's the idea of it, yeah. right? Not the actual. I even prick. have to do the pricking for Erica. <laughs> but, um, so that's our idea of um, measuring your ketones yes. and um, the best ways to do it. Um, we hope that you found this useful. Yep, and I'm going to go and wipe my finger. <laughs> um, but if you um, have liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it makes a big difference to us. Yeah. Um, also, subscribe. Yes, we would love you to videos. subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we've got loads more videos coming out all about keto and um, recipes, our travels. So we'd love to have you along for the ride. Thank you so much. Bye.